Hello everyone, Capsaicin Cult here doing a little bit of spooky and spicy. So I'm going to try and find some cooler places throughout the Chicagoland area to go to, but right now I am standing in a CTA parking lot that goes through Concordia Cemetery, which is a huge cemetery here in town. And there's nothing, no local lore or anything about it. A little bit of history. The cemetery was built in 1873, I believe. So it has some really, really old, cool headstones. And I like to come over here sometimes. There's a bike path right there that we go to. So it's just really nice and relaxing, super old cemetery. And it's the season for spooky. So. I figured, inspired by Chili Mancer, Donnie has been doing his hot, um, hot peppers in hot pla or, uh, haunted places, so I thought I'd do a little bit of spooky and spicy as well, since spooky is definitely my jam. So I brought a little bit of the Apocalypse Scorpion sent to me by Mogwai Organics, and I'm gonna eat a little bit after a little bit of a tour here. The one notable thing about this cemetery is that quite a few of the, uh, the car going by that distracted me, quite a few of the um, people that perished in the Eastland disaster in Chicago, and I think it was 1919 or 1915, I can't remember right now, but um, stopped for a minute because of the car going by me but um so the Eastland disaster happened in Chicago back in the early 1900s and it was a boat that capsized in the river and killed a whole ton of people when it got you know they got trapped underneath the hull when it flipped over so it was a really huge disaster and it killed a ton of people but it's definitely less known about than you know, the Chicago fire or anything like that. So there's a lot of the people who perished there buried in this cemetery, which you can see is absolutely huge. The other interesting thing is that I do a lot of ancestry research and I thought that one of my ancestors may be buried here, but I'm not sure yet. I don't think so based on some more research I've done since I, you know, found that name and came here and did some digging. Um, the guy that runs the cemetery was really nice and looked up other people buried in the plot and names just don't match, but it would have been really cool if one of my ancestors was buried here. It was right around this area that the uh, person I thought might be related to me was. The other thing that's really cool about this cemetery is it backs up right onto the river. You can see there's a portion of fence missing there, but there's the Des Plaines River. So lots of wildlife, really beautiful, scenic, quiet place. In the background there you'll see Altenheim, which is an abandoned old folks home. And uh, there's a huge green area back there that is hot controversy in my town because they want to build over it. And I definitely don't agree with that. But lots of deer live in here, so we see deer a lot. And they come through the cemeteries a lot as well. More towards the front, that's where all the big monuments are. is the main building, which I believe was built in the 30s. But like I said, the cemetery is way older, it dates back to the 1870s. that there's deer here a lot. See 
the other one. Decent antlers. Two boys. So there's a nice little bench here, and back in the day, I think in Victorian times, it was real popular. People would come and sit under the trees, honor their loved ones, have picnics. So we're going to pretend that it's a picnic here, and we're going to have a nice seat on this bench and eat a hot pepper. Okay, so excuse me if my hair is a mess because I did walk here and I've been walking around and it's a little windy, but here is the other apocalypse scorpion that was sent to me by Mogwai Organics just to get an idea of what I'm eating. I already cut the piece up that I'm going to be eating because I didn't want to be trying to cut it up and not wearing gloves and all that good stuff so let me get it ready and we'll give it a try all right so here we go here's my little piece of apocalypse scorpion and i didn't bring water i thought about that after i got here so wish me luck Try and not get capsaicin on anything else in my purse. The only downside, I don't know if you can hear, 290 is really, really close. So you can hear a lot of that traffic. It's got a good flavor, actually. Before it starts burning, it's really not that bad of a burn. I was expecting worse with a name like a Apocalypse Scorpion. Gonna have to be a little bit more brave and try a bigger piece coming up. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this crazy hair here. But I'll give that one another shot. We'll do that maybe on the burn together coming up. Um, that's coming up Saturday. And um, yeah, I really have been enjoying all the pod people. Shout out to them. Um, started by Chili Mancer, who gave me the idea for this video as well. Um, so yeah, check them out. If you like eating spicy stuff or you grow hot peppers, let us know and we can uh, give you an invite to the Discord server. And there's a lot of great people on there, a lot of great ideas, a lot of great tips, and a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna try and find some other cool places to do some videos. Hopefully um, I can do some better videos, but right now I'm just kind of holding my phone. But yeah, I'm gonna try and find some spooky places for spooky season to eat spooky, spooky spicy things. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.